Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mr. Myasis here. Uh, come on, paper. What are you doing? Uh, this is Mr. Myasis here, and I'm going to talk about derivatives of inverse functions. So, inverse functions. Okay. So, um, I don't know if you saw me if I got out of the picture or what's going on here, but um, because I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at, I'm not looking at myself in the camera. I'm looking at the camera. Anyway, um, so derivatives of inverse functions. So, there's a, a little bit of a formula, I guess, for derivatives of inverse functions, but just a real quick background on inverse functions. Remember that when you're finding the inverse, you're taking the domain and the range and you're kind of flipping them, right? So the domain of the uh, function is the range of the inverse and the range of the function is the domain of the inverse. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're flipping them. And if you're in my class and I ask you to uh, do example one on your own, um, then you are going to get something similar to these results. These results what they just appeared yep um that's called the magic of video okay so um these are the results you should have gotten when you switched the x and the y's and then you solved and you differentiated both of them separately and then you plugged in your values and you noticed that the derivative and the inverse derivative are reciprocals okay so in general here's what we have guys um we have that the derivative of inverse whoa, 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 it's going in and out, it's going out. Okay, I'll stop it right there. The derivative of inverse functions. Um, if a point A and B is on F, then the point B A, comma A is on F inverse, and the uh, derivative of the inverse at B is one over the derivative of the function at A. Okay, in other words, in terms of the G and the F of X, you can see it as the way I have it written right. Uh, right here. Okay, so um, this is the form that we often see it in but we often end up really just using this one because we're talking about a point so Let's take a look at a, some examples of where we might see this in terms of their inverses. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to say that F and G are inverses and I'm going to make a little table here of values um, so we can see what the values of F and the points of f are and then the image points of what f inverse are okay so whoa okay so i'm gonna put this up here okay and what i'm gonna do i'll do it right here on the side here okay, so uh my points for f okay are one and five and that gives me a slope of f prime of one is one half okay where am i getting that from here's f prime and here's my point all right so then i got another point that's zero comma two because i get that from right here and my slope there is going to be two because that's my derivative and my point is negative one comma one and my slope of that one is three halves hopefully you saw where i was getting those from so let me do this for my inverse function which is g right i called it g g What's going to happen? Well, now that I know what my uh, points here are, my uh, image points, which is the ones that are, which is the ones for my inverse, are going to be the reverse of that, right? So it's five comma one. Here I have two comma zero. Here I have one comma negative one. Does that make sense? All I did was flip the domain and range. So then, what do you do next? Well, how do you find the slope? Well, we just determined that the inverse slope is going to be the reciprocal of my function. So my slope here is going to be 2. My slope here is going to be 1 half. And my slope here is going to be 2 thirds, right? It's not the negative reciprocal. Remember, that's that's uh, normal. That's the normal slope, right? That the normal is the negative reciprocal. The inverse slope is just the reciprocal. So um, let's, since I already organized my data and I made my chart, let's go and take a look and solve each of these. So G Make that small here. G prime of one is right here, so that's two thirds. G prime of two is right here, so that's one half. G prime of three, I don't have an x value of three here, so I don't know that. I'll just say, um, I'll just say unknown because I don't know it. So what is it when I don't know it? It's unknown. Okay. Um, G prime of zero, I don't have an x equal to zero here so I'll say that one's also unknown and again we don't want to be fooled by thinking f of zero right <clears throat> because it's not it's g prime of zero g prime of five 
Here's my x equal 5. I'm talking about prime, so I'm talking about the slope. So my slope here is 2. And that's all there is to it, guys. So um, when we're dealing with the values, um, you know, the problems normally on the AP exam look a little different than what I just have here. But they all ba pretty much base the same way. You're given a value for f and you're given its derivative value. And all you got to do is remember that you need to switch them and find the reciprocal, okay? So uh, I'll come back in another video that I'll talk about um, another example that you might see on the AP exam, okay? So that's inverses of derivatives. See you later. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry, not inverse derivatives. I just said that backwards. <laughs> like an inverse. Backwards. It's derivatives of inverses. Catch you later, folks.